10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. team at Messiah Visual Ministries went up to Jerusalem to proclaim the true joy of Sukkot, the Feast of Tabernacles. There were many people who came to Jerusalem to celebrate and enter into the beautiful Sukkot. It was wonderful to see so many people rejoicing. As believers were praying, Messianic Rabbi Zev Porat began sharing the true meaning of Sukkot in the Kotel, which is the western wall, and inside the Sukkot. There was a group of Orthodox Jews singing, rejoicing, and praying. Zev was greeting everyone, Shag Samiak, which means Happy Holiday. Rabbi Geffen asked Zev to come and rejoice with them. Why do we rejoice, Zev asked. Rabbi Geffen replied, because we were freed from bondage in Egypt. Zev said, but there is a much deeper picture of Sukkot. Rabbi Geffen was interested in understanding the deeper meaning Many were listening, joining in the conversation. Glory to Yeshua. What is the deeper meaning? Geffen asked. Zev opened the Bible and read Deuteronomy 16, verse 13 to 15. You shall celebrate the Feast of Booths seven days after you have gathered in from your threshing floor and your wine vat, and you shall rejoice in your feast, you and your son and your daughter and your male and female servants and Levites and the stranger and the orphan and the widow who are in your towns. Seven days you shall celebrate, a feast to the Lord your God in the place which the Lord chooses. Because the Lord your God will bless you in all your produce and all your work of your hands, so that you will be altogether joyful. After reading this, Zev explained the sukkahs are temporary, like our bodies. In order to really go into Sukkot and tabernacle with the Lord God forever, we must enter into his complete joy. Walking into a physical Sukkot is not what the Bible is referring to. Although it's wonderful to have booths, if our heart does not repent and abide in the written word of God and enter into his real joy, then we cannot tabernacle with him and we miss the true meaning of Sukkot. The rabbi and others were fascinated and asked, How do we enter into this joy? We don't understand what you mean. Zev explained, we are all sinful and cannot meet God's standard. Rabbi Geffen said, yes, but we try to do what we can. Zev said, trying is not enough. We serve a holy and just God without any sin. Do you believe God is without sin? At that moment, all answered together, yes. Zev opened the Bible to Psalm 13, verse 5. But I have trusted in your loving kindness. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. Zev said, this is how we enter into the true joy of Sukkot, through his salvation available only through the Messiah who came and died for our sins, rose after three days, and if we repent and believe in him, we have the eternal tabernacle. Rabbi Geffen answered, I know who you are talking about. Zev said, I'm sure you do. Yeshua is calling you to partake in this joy, the true tabernacle. We know the hand of God touched the rabbi and the others because they did not deny Yeshua, but they were afraid and just moved away. We pray that during this Feast of Tabernacles, they will receive salvation through Messiah Yeshua and enter into the eternal Sukkah. Zev continued to share with many, including preaching Yeshua the Messiah inside the Sukkahs. There were many supernatural conversations. Shekinah, the glory cloud of the Lord's presence that was with the Israelites, was now hovering over the Sukkah in the Kotel. We give all the glory to Yeshua the Messiah. Many contacts were made. We pray that the people will come to know the true joy of the Sukkot, available only through Yeshua the Messiah. May they abide in him and tabernacle forever with him. Amen.